So this story happened about 10 years ago, when I was around 10 years old. I'm not sure exactly how old I was, but I was young and in elementary school. So let's just go around 10. I lived three houses down from my second cousin and best friend at the time, Anna, who was just one year younger than me. It happened during summer break from school. We lived in a very safe neighborhood and used to play out on the street every day, all day, just going to our houses to eat. On that day, I absolutely remember we were rollerblading up and down our street when we saw a man pacing around and watching us. He was tall, skinny, pale, had black greasy hair and wore a sweater midday on a hot summer day. For some reason, being young, naive, and stupid, we thought what he was doing was funny so we kept rollerblading by him. Probably on the second time we passed him, he started touching himself down there, watching us pass by. At that point, we were creeped out, but we weren't sure if that really just happened so we just passed him again. And he had his thing completely out, stroking and he dropped his pants to the ground right in front of us, still stroking and smiling. Mind you, this was in the middle of the day, probably early afternoon, on a nice summer day. We got so scared, I remember feeling so violated and terrified. We hurried to my house, it was closer, even though hers was only three more houses down. We told my parents what had happened and they called the cops. I remember it took them very long to come and of course the man was gone by the time they did. Me and Anna were asked some questions by the police. A report was made, they even sent a helicopter to look for the man but they never found him. Thankfully, we never saw him again. When I was 14, I lived in this small town that I didn't really have anything really special or entertaining to do. So most days, I just hang out with a group of my friends, whether it be outside or at someone's house. Well, one of those days, me and three of my friends went to the main friend's house to maybe watch a movie or watch some YouTube videos. As time passed, more of my friends had to go home. Because my parents were always very laid back and our town was small, they let me stay out as late as I wanted as long as I answered their calls. So eventually, me and my main friend are the only people left and we were both starting to get tired. So I told him that I was leaving. I left his house and started going home. On my way, I take out my phone, plug in my headphones, and start listening to music to pass the time while I walk home. About halfway home, as I'm walking, all of a sudden, a car pulls up next to me and very quickly, I notice that there were three men, two in the front and one in the back with two other women. At this point, I was panicking and contemplated running, but instead I just froze out of fear. That's when one of the guys looks at me and says, There's a man right behind you. After I comprehended what he had just told me, I felt my heart skip a beat and I started to feel shaky. They said that they were driving when they noticed the man behind me, so that's why they drove towards me. They also said the man ran off the second he saw them. After explaining what had happened, they offered me a ride home. Me still being scared, I declined. They understood and instead said that they would just drive behind me while I walk home. After reaching home, they told my sister what had happened. I never told my parents what happened and since then I've completely stopped listening to music while walking.
One summer, a few years ago, I worked as a lifeguard for a nearby apartment complex. While working that job, I met some of the most interesting people I ever have, even to this day. On the typical day that my story takes place, it looked like it was going to rain. Nobody had shown up to the pool all day and I wasn't expecting anyone for the rest of my shift. I didn't mind days like these. I would just watch Netflix until it was time to clock out. I was in the middle of an episode when I noticed a man staring at me from the other side of the fence across the pool. Being the paranoid person I am, I immediately thought the worst. Especially after a few minutes when he remained in the same spot, his eyes were focused on me the entire time. Five minutes later, he finally began walking to the gate and into the pool area. My little table sat against the wall of the bathrooms. My job was to check his pool pass, the tiny piece of plastic that enabled him access. I began shaking at the thought of speaking to the guy, which I'd already decided was a total creep. Good afternoon, he said, when he finally approached. I followed up by asking simply for his pool pass. The man, a Hispanic male in his late twenties, invited himself to sit down next to me. I started shaking even harder. The guy told me he didn't have a pool pass, but then continued speaking to me. He told me that he had been watching me for a while. I didn't know if he meant on that particular day or throughout the entirety of summer. Either way, I was terrified. The man continued still, saying that he just had come to talk to me. At one point, he even admitted that he knew he was being creepy, but he didn't care, he was interested in me. I was 16 at the time, but looked even younger. I was clearly underage. If he wasn't being creepy enough, he started telling me to keep an open mind. He told me that he lived with his boyfriend and that though his boy wouldn't be happy, he still wanted me. He then passed me a note and asked if all this was strange. I couldn't even speak at this point, I was petrified. There were no witnesses around or anything, it was only the creep and I. I told him I was creeped out and he told me to read the note. The note was only a filled out application for a pool pass. At that point, the guy started laughing and said it all had been a joke. I still couldn't speak. I'm not really sure why he decided to pull a joke like that, considering I was clearly young and scared. Regardless, I never saw the man again.